So firstly, take this with a pinch of salt. This hasn't been confirmed to be true and to be honest could have been written by any lonely soul sitting in their parents' basements after that attention. On the other hand, this could indeed be all true, as what we have today guys is an alleged CDPR dev talking about the state of cyberpunk and future plans. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, thanks for the amazing support on my channel since this game has dropped. And to give back to you guys, I am giving you the chance to win any game of your choosing. To enter it's pretty simple, drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave a comment down below. And good luck everybody. So like I said, this indeed could be something someone has just made up, but the details are quite depthy here. Now the source to this info is Reddit. It's where I found it, but the original convo I don't believe was posted to Reddit, it was just a leak there. But let's read through it people. And like I said, this was written by an alleged CDPR dev. Okay, so getting into it. CDPR hurt themselves to keep investors safe and sound. Now devs are hearing plans of a No Man's Sky style comeback due late June. The first two patches should come out mid-March, despite what's been said by top execs. There will be major departures from the studio in the coming months, dev morale is on an all-time down and Sony is roasting our asses due to the gigantic volume of refund requests. There will be a meeting today with Sony execs to figure out a way to compensate players threatening with legal action. Sony Japan is especially furious. More to come in the next couple weeks, feels terrible man. There's no finger pointing as of now, word on the memos comes from the top, the directors and senior devs are taking the flack for the team in what I'd call an honourable move. Just so you know, we still talk about a quest that got rewritten more than a dozen times because a certain top dog wasn't feeling it. It ended up being cut from the final product and should come out in a later DLC next year. There's people that get hired for whatever reason and stay in the company due to being trusted by the top dogs. A good chunk of code is getting scrapped and rewritten from scratch. The intended game might be ready by June 2021. That's already done and ready since February. It didn't get implemented because of a major UI bug that is still present in the retail copies. If you open your .dat files, you'll find a lot of scrap content in there. If you want a refund, please ask for it. It positively impacts us as devs because we've warned the leads a million times about this kind of shiz. Most cosmetic overhauls should be ready by the second big update hopefully. The update which is due out June will sort out all of the bugs. The code for the PS4 slash Xbox One is getting scrapped and done separately. PS5's code is an improvement on the PC due to the awesome dev kit Sony put together for this gen. You'd be amazed by how much is already done. That cut content so people finish the main quest talk was all bull. Most apartments with closed locked indications used to be lootable. We've scrapped 50,000 plus lines of dialogue and I believe the June update will bring a whole lot of cut content back into the game. Address the cut content as well. If they see that you guys are asking for shiz to be put back into the game, we might actually make the game we intended back in 2018. They used to be a huge underground part of the city that the public never got to see because it looked ugly to the execs. It was effing awesome and felt like the Malkavian slash Nosferatu path on the Vampire of Masquerade. Now they go on to state, I don't want to hate on Keanu but effing hell, our original Johnny was way cooler and sounded like a maniac. Think full test on crack. I don't appreciate his acting either, but he's a very nice man. Walked up to us personally to greet us on the first day and took time to personally thank us one by one when they wrapped up recording. The word on his fee was actually manageable and the need for a star talent came from outside CDPR. The execs comply because who the F knows, it sucks. Our Johnny was heavily inspired by David Hayter's Solid Snake from the first Metal Gear Solid and believe it or not, Cillian Murphy. There was a whole UI routine with minor gang violence in those areas, stuff you could sit back and watch unfold or directly influence. There was also a lot of drug use with kids that eventually got cut due to inside censorship. 
there were priests and Hare Krishna side arcs that got caught due to censorship. Miles wrote a side quest where a Max Tack officer offed himself and you could take its place but it created such a complex detour from everything tonally that it got cut as well. I hope it comes back because it felt amazing to get into their headquarters and hatches. You'd see the police trying to operate and breaking down middle rest due to your shenanigans. Might sound weird, but the disaster launch was actually something beneficial from our perspective. A cold shower sets priorities straight and so we're able to resume work on what was originally intended without having those effers breathing down our necks to publish. I believe it was due to miscommunication and leads not setting goals like they should. The game was jumbled together for 2019's E3. The last dev comp before the scrap was 160GB alone. There should be some whistleblowing in the coming weeks if the steps down. Series X was a mere rewrite of code and load orders. Next gen architecture is actually very good for ports. It's company policy to release when a game runs without debug hitches and the reason why it did baffles me and is the reason why I started this thread. It's a mix of hubris and deep incompetence from some big names around here. I'm going home for the holidays and really thinking about my friends who will be in the office for the next couple of months redoing scrapped work without being able to say I effing told you this is your fault boss. Next E3 will be bizarre for CDPR I bet. We've scrapped two whole arcs because the mission cleaned a save due to a bug with character placement. We've also scrapped a big portion of the underground and sewers because of bugs. Night City had three different types of cabs besides Relafort and drivers who would hold whole conversations and give quests. That also had to be scrapped. Police pathfinding script worked wonderfully until somebody screwed the pooch. All I know is, it's already been fixed. It was a major oversight, of course. Morgan Blackhand's backstory and a nod to the corporate wars. The DLC will add a lot to the crazy and cool ideas Mike gave us when we began briefing the project. You guys should have the complete game by the end of next year if everything goes well. I really gotta go now, take care. So you guys make of it what you want and sound off down below. I mean, whoever this person is, I mean, this obviously could be all made up, but like I said, they do mention some deeper instances going down at CDPR and with the game and a lot of content we know has gone missing from this game, people. I mean, the things you can find in game points to things being cut. And like this guy says, we will have a full game by the end of 2021. I mean, to be honest, I'm just astounded by this. As much as I'm feeling it's fake, it could indeed be real. So what do we do with this information? In my opinion, at this stage, it would be dangerous for me to suggest what we should do with this information, because like I said, it may not be real. I mean, I've covered many games in the past and many leaks some nowhere near as depth as this one which actually turned out to be real where at the time many people thought was fake but the detail this dude goes into in terms of johnny silverhand the underground and the sewers being cut due to bugs some amazing side mission quests which to be honest i love the sound of even if they ain't real and this guy's just completely made them up and as much as i do love johnny silverhand this dude's idea of solid snake cross cillian murphy I mean, that would be twisted and amazing at the same time. But yeah, guys, make of this what you want. Sound off down below and let me know your opinion on it. It's definitely interesting to me. I'm guessing over the next week or so, we will find out if this is real. He says more people or more whistleblowers will come out. So we will wait and see, guys. This was dropped on the internet yesterday. It's picked up a bit of steam as of right now. We haven't seen any remarks or response to this from CDPR. So like I said, until then, still take it with a pinch of salt. But yeah, guys, the end of the video has arrived. Let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment section. Do drop a like on this video. I do really appreciate that support. Subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.